I'm here at Oak Lake Field Station at one of my sampling sites. You can see I've got a couple different covers laid out alongside a road. You can see some of the habitat around here. Some trees, grass, roadside, and then a little bit of hills and grass on the other side, some shrubs. I'm going to do some collection from these covers, see if we have anything. I usually keep a couple different bins with me in case I find anything underneath them. And I just lifted back one of the tarp covers. You can see right here in the grass. Here's one red-bellied snake. They're pretty well blended in. There he is. Get a good shot of him. There's one. Check and see if there's any more. They're pretty tough to see in the grass. So you, what I do is I wear a glove and I just kind of gently rake my fingers through the grass just to make sure I'm not missing any. After I've collected the snake, I put it in a bucket and lay it on top of the cover where it was found. Usually put a lid on top of it, depending on how deep the bin is, and record its data later after I've checked all of the rest of the covers. After I'm finished, I try and take some notes down of what I found the snake under, what the snake looks like. Um, and take some weather data just to see what cover techniques are working the best and what times of day are best for capture. And you can see here we've got an adult. Um, this one is like a light to medium brown. Hold on just one second, take this glove off. Light to medium brown with dark brown stripes. And Understand it's kind of like a milky red color. Let's see. There, a little. He's not happy about being held. Hold on just one second. Okay, so this is the eastern red bellied snake of South Dakota. And then after I'm finished, I release them. I try to release them really close to where I found them. Just set them in the grass and then they'll just disappear. Let's see. Very hard to see once they get back in the grass.